Hello everyone, I'm Jacob, I'm a software engineer at Blazit, and welcome to the next video. When working with a CMS, you often need to preview content before it goes live without breaking your cache strategy. In this video, we'll explore draft mode and preview in the Next.js app router. You'll see how to use it to safely toggle previews, view unpublished content, and keep caches coherent. Let's get started. I have here a Next.js show application, and it's powered by a contentful CMS. Um, and what I have here is a production build running on my local host with pnpm start after I build it. So as you can see, product page is a, a pre-rendered static HTML using generic static params. So uh, this is a static uh, page and wherever anything is changed on a CMS site, this uh, webhook is triggered and this page is revalidated. But when we change something, for so for example, we add some text, super cool, uh, sneakers and we do not publish it we won't be able to see any changes here so we can refresh it and we won't be, be able to see the revalidation so i'm going to show you how we can achieve draft mode uh, in this case a preview with next.js so first we would need to create uh, two new, new api routes uh, first let's create an an api route to actually enable draft mode so we can call it draft and then an api route route ts okay so right now I can paste my code and we will explain what it does. So first we actually getting a request so we can get it from like our browser or we can configure it uh, with the CMS and we actually getting a slug of the specific product and we are checking that this slug exists and then we are checking that this product actually exists. And if it exists, we actually enabling draft mode and what it does, uh, Next.js is actually setting a special cookie in order to get uh, this draft uh, mode uh, as enable and then we are redirecting the user to this specific product. The second uh, API route that we need to create is an uh, disable draft. So we can create the same, the route TS. And this is very simple. It actually gets a uh, redirect to param and it's disabling uh, the draft mode and redirect the user back to this route. So for example, when we have a, an UI with a preview uh, and we actually don't want to have the draft mode so we can disable it by clicking it uh, Mm, so some button or whatever we'll be implementing it later. So we have an a, a API route to actually uh, enable draft mode, but we need to somehow connect it with the CMS. So in case of Contentful, we have some special um, preview client that we can uh, fetch unpublished data with this client. So we can, for example, um, because as you can see here on the product page, we're actually getting a Slack and then we have a function to get product by Slack. So we can actually use a draft mode a function from Next.js to actually check um, is enabled. So if is draft mode, and we can actually uh, use different uh, client, different contentful client depends on this draft mode. So for better uh, visualization that uh, draft mode is actually enabled, I'm going to add uh, some indicator here. So let's use the same function um, called your, sorry, draft, draft mode next.js like this and we can use the draft mode indicator this is just a, a component that shows some text okay like this we need to await it okay so hit save and as you can see um, we have still this uh, super cool sneakers text that we have added but when we open an actual page and we have the production build and we try to refresh it we are not able to see it. but as we can see we have this draft uh, api route so let's actually use it so sneakers this is our uh, slack so let's go to api slash draft and as a param slack we are going to uh, uh, pass the sneaker set uh, slack so let's hit say enter and as you can see it says the draft mode is enabled and we can see this super cool sneaker stack so when we disable it we still won't be able to see it but with this draft mode we are able to see the preview uh, without breaking any cache strategies uh, on a production. As I mentioned, we can uh, use this draft mode uh, with our browser, but also we can configure it uh, on a Contentful or other CMS uh, sites. So for example, with Contentful, we can uh, create a custom preview. So let's uh, start set a bit. We can name it product, product preview, and we're going to display a product and we need some URL. So for example, you can pause this a local host and as a dynamic slack we are going to use this uh, tokens so we are going to pass a slack here so let's hit save 
um, in the same way we're going to open the sneakers um, and as you can see we can open live preview and it should load in a second and as you can see we have the same page uh, inside the cms and it says the draft mode is enabled and we're able to see uh, our unpublished uh, changes getting preview right makes content workflows smoother for more techniques to build fast reliable next.js apps download the expert guide to next.js performance optimization the link is waiting for you in the comments thank you for watching and see you in the next one